The next field I'll show you how to build is called a multi select box or a list box. The multi selects box allows users to pick one or more predefined choices. Unlike a combo box, which normally allows you to only pick one choice. To add a multi select or a list box, we'll need to select the list box tool. I'm going to scroll up here a little bit so we have more room to work. Then I will drag and drop the list box tool onto my PDF. I'll give a name to my list box. I'll call that name toys. Then in my appearance, I'll select the border color to gray. And then just like a combo box, I need to put a list of items inside of my list box. For my example, I'll put a list of different toys in here. So one toy will be car and the export value. This is the value that will be submitted to the database. If somebody was to select the item car, I'll just put in car and I'll hit add. Then I'll put in boat and the export value will be boat. And finally, I'll type in bike and my export value will be bike. Now by default, when someone goes into my multi select box, they can only select a single item in the box. But most people use these to allow people to select multiple items. So what I'll do is I'll check the box here to allow multiple item selection. Let me show you what that looks like when the form is live. If I go to the hand tool, that will allow me to see what the form looks like. And as you can see, I can select car, boat, or bike. Now, if I was to select car and then hold down the control key, it allows me to also select bike. If this form field were to be submitted to a database online or some other location, both car and bike would be submitted for the single form field.